Welcome back to Tech Baby's Crib. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you the Amazon Fire HD 8 Kids Edition tablet. This is the tablet we got for Tech Baby. And we are going to unbox this thing and show you what's in here. We're going to give you an overview of what the tablet itself is and what the Kids Edition is that makes it special, what it comes with. Uh, what features and content that give it that extra level of functionality for kids. And then we'll discuss a little bit about whether that's worth it for you or what other options there might be. What is this device? So for starters, let's take a look at the tablet on the inside. And that is the Fire HD 8. This is an Amazon branded tablet. It is uh, an Android tablet with Amazon's own skin or really it's more than a skin on it um, it's it's limited it doesn't really have access it doesn't have access to the android store it doesn't have all the apps you'd find there including apparently youtube but it's a very basic android tablet that gets you in the game for very cheap you look at this thing on its own it's under a hundred dollars around a hundred canadian and similarly, similarly, there is the Fire 7, which is not an HD screen, has slightly reduced specs, um, and that's even in the $50 range. So you're talking about getting into the tablet game with a very cheap tablet. This is basically the answer to what's the easiest way for my kids to get on Zoom so they could do their virtual schooling or whatever, so they can get on the Amazon uh, store and watch some videos, or watch Disney or Netflix. And this is, in our opinion, the answer. The Fire HD 8, it's that base level tablet and great for parents too. It's not, you know, many hundreds of dollars. Uh, it doesn't look anything like a computer. It's just a base tablet that's got a camera that's good enough for video chat. HD display, not super HD, but we're talking in like the high 100s pixels per inch. Uh, it's got a micro SD slot, so even though it's only 32 gigs out of the box, which is kind of a small amount of space, um, we easily can add a lot more space. So for $30 Canadian, we're adding an extra 128 gigabytes through the slot. Quad-core processor, 2 gigs RAM, so pretty good specs. Should work pretty snappy for what it is. Fast Wi-Fi. Um, cameras that again are decent enough for video chatting and uh, connecting that way but you're not really gonna want this for pictures per se although the kids might enjoy that and got some sound um, but this is not just the HD tablet um, if you were to get the HD 8 you get it a great value in this um, package here still great value but with a lot of add-ons specifically for kids so for example this case this is what makes the Kids Edition special. It's got the case, and not only the case, but it comes with um, a protection plan, so two-year uh, worry-free warranty. So that essentially means that if it breaks, they'll replace it. So the first two years, anything happens, no questions asked. So overall, between this super durable case that's got a nice stand also, by the way, and the warranty, you're looking at, you're just, you're, you've got that protection. You're paying, you know, close to double the price, but that's, that's a good to be, to be worry-free and have that peace of mind. Then it's got a series of additional kids controls. So specifically, um, it's pre-set up with, uh, so a kid's setting. So um, when you start an Amazon tablet and you start an account, you can make it a kid's account, which limits uh, certain functionality. Uh, really uh, designs it, it really gears the experience towards kids more, the more limited but more functional for them. And here that is set up out of the box. And additionally, there are extra parental controls on here. So can have a few more areas where we can manage the device and constrain the way that it's used compared to the normal tablet. And um, then it's got tons of kids content. So it's got all the apps that you'd want, access to books and games, videos. Uh, one year of this Amazon free time subscription, so that uh, gets you a whole bunch of extra content. And overall, you're dealing with this really, like a real tablet. This isn't, um, 
you know, like one of those leapfrog ones that comes just specifically with its own apps that are, you know, very high quality, really, really geared towards kids, um, probably more so than this. Um, but you've got this experience that is geared towards the kids at a physical level with all the protection and at a software level with the way that it's set up and the content geared specifically towards them. So with that, let's actually open this device up and see what we got here. The tablet, we'll leave that here for a second. Let's start with our bonjour card. Welcome to Canada, everybody. So this is pretty simple. What's in the box? What's on the device? Take a look at those controls when we pull it out. Um, how to turn it on. Swipe to unlock and follow the setup. Uh, charging, which it comes with. And it's got the stand, which uh, you can use in multiple different ways. And uh, French instructions, so very good. Important information. So here we've got uh, really the paperwork and all the details, the cautions. You do want to read this stuff and make sure you treat your device correctly, charge it correctly, you don't break it, and you don't cause any potential hazards. And then in this little uh, box at the bottom, we've got the micro USB cable and uh, the wall charger, which is uh, Amazon branded. And um, not the highest output, so I don't know how fast this will charge, but we'll have to get more on that once we see. And, uh, oh, it feels like a nice, decent cable. And, oh, sweet, USB-C. That's good. Wow. Didn't actually know that. That's a surprise. I like USB-C. And, of course, the tablet itself. So... Take this out of the case, out of the packaging, and yeah, this is like a really, uh, it's like soft, almost like cr like Crocs material. It's like foamy, but hard foam, and the screen is fully lifted up, like it can't crash down this way on the ground, really, unless it's a very uneven ground. You got the camera, the stand here, so that just, you know, sits different different ways and uh, we'll take a look at that after but hard stand and you got the tablet here so there's a back camera there so you've got a bunch of buttons in here uh, the USB charging uh, there's a power button there and volumes headphone jack and this is the kids tablet I mean a lot of it is going to be in the software and what we see inside we're not going to do now. We'll show you that in another video. You could check that out in the comments or we'll try to post that in the corner up here, our, our overview of the software and setup. Um, but this is it. So, I mean, let's just take a look at the tablet inside. So, this is the Fire HD 8 tablet. It's got a nice um, plasticky back. The Amazon logo, um, uh, yeah, decent size, and you got the, the speakers. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, there's a lock. It looks like a lock button of some sort. Oh, this is the micro USB. So this is where we're gonna expand the storage. So this is what it is. It's it's an Amazon. HD 8 inch tablet uh, with an with an HD screen and this is a really good entry level tablet that gets you in the game gets you a lot of tablet features at this size form um, except it comes with the case of course you could buy this case separate and if you just wanted the tablet and the case it would be cheaper than than this whole package that we bought but but if you want that warranty on top of it you want the extra kids features you want uh, the easier setup where it comes in the kids' flavor ready to go, um, this might be the tablet for you. If you want a cheaper way to get in the game, you just buy this tablet on its own. You can either get this case or there's some other similar cases. I'll, I'll show you an image of that here, post links to those. We have a friend who did that and, and they're very happy with it. 
cheaper way to get in the game, um, more customizable if, if you're an adult. Um, but this, this is a really easy way to get your kids into a, a tablet that has lots of kids content and um, is really just around the board designed for kids use. So I'm gonna stick it back in the case and let's get that in, should clip in. And this is pretty hefty. I can imagine dropping this from some height and it really holding up. Um, of course, we'll give you a review in a, in a year or down the road once we've gotten a lot of wear and tear into this and we'll see just how it holds up. I guess these are for the speakers. These are like little speaker, uh, little speaker windows. So the sound comes out. And that is about really it. That's all I gotta say. Uh, let's just give you maybe, let's give you maybe a quick comparison of some of the other options out there. So like I said, the real most direct comparison is getting this without the kids edition, just getting the tablet on its own and picking whichever case you want or whichever features you want and, and setting it up yourself. That's a cheaper way to do this. Um, then of course there's other Android tablets that are, that have much more features and better specs. So, you know, maybe you want a sweet Android tablet for yourself and you add a kid's profile to that. That is a more expensive option or it could be a more affordable option in the sense of that you get yourself a tablet out of it as well that's more functional for you. Uh, this Amazon is going to be great, a great ad for us to be able to bring on trips and to take videos with us and etc. But um, if we wanted a higher end Android tablet, um, you know, you could just add on the kids profile and you wouldn't get the same kids customization with all these features and the kids screen, etc. But you can really get a lot of those apps anyway. Um, like I said, um, the straight up Android stock tablet might even have more apps because it's got access to the whole Android store. And then there's of course the Apple option, which uh, is more expensive. If you're in the Apple ecosystem, it makes a lot of sense because you know it, ho it hooks up with all your other services, everything you know, you can airplay it to your TV. Um, of course, it's more expensive and um, it's, it's not really designed for kids per se, so you have this tablet that's gonna be your kids that's uh, really expensive and isn't really optimized for them per se. Um, every, you know, and, and furthermore, a huge limitation with Apple right now is single user support. So if I wanted to use a tablet for myself and the kid, I mean, you're paying a lot for it to get even the most basic iPad. So you'd wanna be able to get use out of it as an adult and you know, either you have to turn off all your apps, you can't have your messages there, or or you have to have them accessible to the kids. Of course, there are some parental controls. There's a lot in accessibility you can do and customize that way. Maybe we'll show you some of that in another video. Let us know if you wanna see that in the comments. But most importantly for the iPad, it, out of the box, it's somewhat limited in terms of that multi-user support. This one here you can have for multiple kids and for parents at the same time and in that sense, we feel that this tablet, the Fire HD 8 Kids Edition, is the best overall kids tablet at the moment. Um, there are cheaper options, for example, just getting the HD 8 without the Kids Edition and customizing yourself. There are more expensive options like the iPads model line, lineup. And there are more uh, options that are really more tailored to kids, but a little more of a closed ecosystem like LeapFrog, which have their own set of tablets and reading devices, but you keep needing to buy their content and their apps and you don't get access to the whole other world out there. So that's kind of a rundown of your different options. This was a full overview of this Amazon Fire HD 8 Kids Edition. We're really excited to use it and we'll post videos of our setup and other um, and our review in the description below. If there's any questions that you have for us, anything you wanna know about this or the other comparable options out there, let us know in the comments. We'd be happy to answer for you, to provide any info you can. And you can check us out at techbaby.ca. So thanks for joining us and take it easy.